playing. He's playing great. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's folded. He's, he's learned to fold a little bit. Today we're playing a $500, 500K guaranteed almighty stack. WSOP day 50. We're in Atlantic City playing at Borgata. It's our first time playing live tournament since the World Series of Poker. Confirmed for Fat was supposed to join us today, but apparently he couldn't. We're gonna obviously play some stupid slots. Let's go, I'm ready. I'm ready to play some live tournaments again. I'm here on time. It woke up nice and early fresh. Not like I was at the WSOP. And all you guys were mad at me and I understand. No, no, no. We're here, fucking way early. But this is what we've been needing to do. Didn't play slots, just going straight to the table. Bro, I'm such a bitch. I'm already regretting this. I have no bandwidth to do work or do things that I don't feel like doing. I've, I've ruined it by being a poker player and YouTuber that like I'm like cranky. I have to sit here and play poker. But the other news is that I also forgot my fucking stand for on the table. So POV whole card shots are going to be trash this vlog. It's a big catastrophe. Blind dad, 200, 300, 300. Off of a stack of 110K. You start with 100K, 333 big steep to start the fucking tournament. Folds around to the small blind, an old guy who raises to 700. We're in the big blind and look down at pocket kings. We make it 2,500. Back on the old guy, he makes it 7,000. What do I do? 330 big blinds effective. What the fuck? Do I have a five bet range? I, I don't know. Let me just call and see what goes down. Feels like he just has fucking aces. Either way, jamming seems retarded. I'm only gonna get called by better. So we just call. Heads up to the flop, it comes 967 rainbow with one spade. He bets 11K, we call. We turn his five of spades, so backdoor spades come in. It's a four liner to the straight if he had an eight somehow. I can't see how. He bets 25K, and I'm like, I, I can't be this nitty. He still could have queens or jacks, maybe even tens, but really queens or jacks. So we call. Massive pot, 88K going to the river in the pot. Comes six of spades, so it pairs the board and brings the flush. He bets 25K again. Although I do think that they might slow down with, with queens and jacks here. I could find the exploitative fold maybe on river. I don't think before that. But anyway, we call and he has aces. But we're proud of ourselves for not obliterating the stack for no reason and jamming 300 bigs. So we survived, but we're down to 33K. Blinds are now 300, 600, 600. Thrawn did it up 50K back from low point of 33. Middle position limps. We're like in the cutoff with a seven of spades. We raise to 2,500. The small blind calls, the others fold. Heads up to a flop, it comes seven, five, two with two hearts, one diamond. So we have top pair, no back door. He checks and we bet 3,500 into the pot of whatever it is, 6K. He makes it 11K, he check raises. And because it's a two-tone board, I figure, and the guy was seemed confident, I was like, you know what, he has enough flush draws other types of shit, maybe a worse seven spazzing. I don't know, let me just see what goes down. He could have eight, seven. But really in game, I was just thinking about flush draws, straight draws. So we call, turn comes, another seven. 37K in our stack, 27K in the pot. He jams, we snap, he has jacks, back up to 100. He was pissed, asked me to be in his, you see how they fuck me photo. And then after that, we like three bet kings again and won a little pot, ace king, you know, whatever. So we have like 120K. A long day, 45 minute in levels, it's only level four. I'm feeling the waves of misregory and I gotta just be happy. And I'm glad I came here on time, blah, 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 blah. Yo, so apparently the dude on my casino hat is running for president or some shit. Some idiots are thinking this has anything to do with politics. Yo, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I need to find a movie to watch or something because I'm mentally fucking ill. I think we got a secret admirer. We got, we got Char. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not too no. Oh, this is you. Now we're at a new table. Fuck your mother. This, this is a good table now. All right, so we have like the same stack. It's like 45 minutes for the next break. He's playing, he's playing great. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's folded. He's, it. he's learned to fold a little bit. He's Danny Boy. If you're going to watch this Danny Boy, he's playing great. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's a cheesesteak, not poker chips. We fucking punted and we're taking a cheesesteak break. Before we re-enter, I'll tell you the hand in a, in a little bit. Bro, I had lost like 15 pounds. I was eating no sugar before Vegas, before WSOP. Living with fucking Danny for a month. I relapsed on sugar hard there. I got a parfait, like a diabetes ass Starbucks drinking bum, bro. Anyway, I'll tell you this hand in a minute. It always takes a while. You guys don't know, man. Oh, it's hard to want to come clean of a hand that you torched. Came back with 120K, a 1K big blind. We, I guess we lost a bunch of little pots. We 
have like 90k to start this hand. And yes, I am just gonna gloss over the loss of 20 bigs. It just added up, okay? Shout out to Alan Kessler, by the way, who won 1.2 million. He's the biggest autistic poker influencer. Anyway, bro, blinds at 800, 1600, 1600. We're under the gun one or some shit and look down at ace four of clubs. We raised to, to 3200. Falls to the big blind, a good red kid. He calls. Heads up to a flop, it's seven five. Okay. All right, all right. Seven, five, three. Two diamonds, one heart. Into the pot of whatever it is, 7K, 8K. He donks 3,500. He's a good enough reg, but this is just kind of some kind of like, yo, fuck you. This board is a board. They, they like to lead a lot. Let me just try to win it now. Fuck this guy. I may get 11K. He then three bets, 28K. This is where the hand should probably end. But this felt like fucking nothing. It's like, bro, I guess if he has two pair, he wants to protect. I don't really know. It just feels like it's so often just bullshit nonsense. He makes a 28K, we call. Probably should have ended there. Turn comes five of clubs. And now with like 52K behind in the stack and the pot has like 63K in the pot. He bets 25K with like 58K behind in my stack. So he bets, you know, 40% or whatever. And I was just thinking like, why would he not jam to like, how often does he have a five, right? The five is a card I should be most scared of. This just feels like fucking bullshit. It is bad that we block straight draws, but it just feels like fucking bullshit. We unblock all the flush draws. And because he only bet 25 and didn't jam and we had 60K, I was like, you know what? I think I have fold equity, so I jammed. And I also figured I wasn't fully dead if he called some of the time, but mostly it was just straight up street poker with no equity. We jam, he snap calls, he has seven five off. We're out, we go to eat the cheese steak, and now, I gotta stop filming because security's gonna ban me. For some reason this spoke to me. It's $10 to spin. We really can't last very long. Can we get a deal? Can we get an offer? Oh my God, can I get something, bro? Yes. Give me a good fucking offer, motherfucker. It says try again. Best play? All right, fine. Third offer. That was not that worth it for $10. Yo, live slots kind of suck. Like online slots are so much better. And I wonder when they're gonna learn to go to state.us, use the sign up code RDP, get a free 25, play from any states in the US, and you could spin some sick online slots at home, bro. It's around. Oh, dude, do it. My whole body clenched. Damn, gambling sucks. All I have left in this stupid slots uh, budget is 80 bucks. So we're, we're letting it roll in this. There's no sound. This is horrible for content, but I'm too addicted to move. Oh, this blows, bro. Gambling sucks. All right, so we lost 220 and stupid shit. All right, back to the fucking tournament. Update with the stake. Uh, Danny's actually been streaming on my kick account. Come join me on kick and, and, and do some slot streams. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. A pretty rainbow. Oh, and Orion. With blinds at 1,500, 2,500, 2,500. This guy, Ryan Araquezo. Raises to 5,000. Three callers before us on the button. Literally, I'm like, call, call, call. And then we have eight, seven of clubs on the button. We call. Other do calls. It's literally six ways to the flop. Flop comes. Pretty good for us. Five, four, two. All clubs. Nice. Check, 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 whatever. Dude bets 10K. Full, I maybe. 10K. Fold, fold. We make it 30K on the button. Fold. And then Rai uh, jams. Okay, he made it 70K with 20 behind, a little fanciness. The other kid was like, what do you do? He was like, oh, I guess I'm all in. I guess, I, uh, I guess I'm all in. <laughs> and I stupidly read that to be like, all right, hopefully as I said. So we're facing two all ins after we've raised. We have a flush. We have outs no matter what. We know we have uh, as a backup plan, the one outer, but we don't want to rely on that. Can we just fold here? I don't know. We started the hand with like, 100 something K, we cover both of them. So we're not gonna like bust on this. We read his like indifference or his like YOLO incorrectly as maybe hoping that he has a set and that Ryan has like an over pair with a club or, or like just a naked ace of clubs. I go all in, Ryan calls. We get to see Ryan's hand, it's the ace, ace of clubs, what we hoped. But the other fucking kid has queen jack of clubs. We're pretty dead, go to the footed. I mean, I'm, I'm, the, mo I'm the most fucked. I, I could have probably. Oh, you have it. I have one out. You have a bunch of outs. I have not a lot. So we're not out, but we just lost most of our stack on a 17 way flop. Six of clubs, we need. Come on. Bye, right. So then we're left with 60K, something like this. We open to 5K. Dude makes it 16K. Another guy cold calls, and it's back on us with pocket fives. And we don't have very many chips, but like. Fuck that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna appeal, even though I only have 23 bigs to start the hand or whatever. 
we call, it comes 765 uh, with two diamonds. Check, check, check. Turn is uh, something, something like Jack of your mom. It goes like, bet big, jam, we call. The, the dummy who bet big folds and we're up against just like a little flush draw. I didn't get footage of this. So we double up. Now we have like 150 again. Then we lose some little baby bitch pots. I don't know, maybe we have 130 at the start of this hand. Greg Hillbrand opens at 1500, 3K, 3K. We have pocket fives in the small blind. Off a stack of 130K, we call the with, with, with pocket fives is 6,500. Big blind calls, three ways to a flop. Five, four, two with two spades. Check, check, Greg bets big, like 20K. We just call other dumbass calls. Turn comes, jack of clubs, no flush comes in. We check. This dummy bets fucking like 80K. Greg jams for like 300K. We put in our remaining, uh, whatever it is, 95K. Other guy folds, which is sick. Greg has pocket queens. We hold, get the double, and now we have like 360K at dinner break. You have to win your all-ins. Under the gun raises to 8K. We were plus one with pocket queens off like 300 something K. We three bet to 20K. The guy on our left, the fish just like calls. Cole calls a three bet. Falls back to the original razor, she calls. Three ways to a flop, there's like, whatever, 70K in there. Comes ace, 10, two. Check, we bet 15K, dude raises 60K. Fold, we fold, he shows aces, so he had a set of aces. We lose. So then we're down to like, whatever, 260K now after those hands. Craig, Greg Himmelbrand jams, King Jack suited or whatever. We have pocket queens, we call, go to the footage. I, I assume that much you're not seeing the other. <laughs> Picked up a lot outs though. Yeah, you did. No diamond though. Which there it is. Uh, pair it. Ten. Ten. Oh, boo. I improved. I made the A side straight. So then we're at about 210K. Get back up to 250K. Now, for this hand, we look down at Ace King of Diamonds. Middle position. Early position is raised to 13K. We three bet to 35K off our stack of like 210K at 5K big blind. He calls. Flop is Jack 10 4. With two spades. He just donk leads after calling it three bet. He bets 50k. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I just jam, figuring I, I'm never dead and he's just gonna fold enough of the time or just have like worse spades, like a worse ace x. Even if he has the nut flush draw, he'll just have like face queen of spades, which you don't want, you know, all types of fucking bullshit. I feel like it's a good jam actually. We jam though he calls and he has King Jack. We lose. Fuck. Fuck. And we don't have more money to gamble, stupid gamble with. So this might be the end of a video. It's certainly the first stack was a fucking punt. Second one, I suck, dude. I thought I was ready more to play live again. I guess fucking not. What did we learn? I don't learn. Yo, you know what? That last hand wasn't a punt because it's like, he donk led, so it took us in a weird place, but a lot of the time have 10 outs there, right? Or some of the time have 10 outs with four queens, three kings, three aces. Now you may say, but Ryan, what if he had a flush draw? Those, you can't count those as outs. If he has a flush draw, I'm, I'm ahead, you dumbass, to begin with, right? Because I have ace king. So literally any flush draw he has, he needs to hit. I'm fucking ahead of. I, I actually don't think it's bad. And even as is, when he shared kings, black kings, I had fucking seven, I had 28% and fold equity by jamming three outs. This is why when you three bet, and there's two broadways and you have ace king, you just fucking blast, you get to blast. Cause it's like, you just have so much equity with both of your overs to the board and the four outs to the gut shot. Even if the dude somehow has some ridiculous shit like Queens, we still have fucking eight outs anyway. But I'm not, n not nearly as upset as I was before. I don't know if any of this will be in the video, but fuck you guys. Make the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.